Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new 2023 Renegade Classic. This is the 38 CSB floor plan, and uh, there's a lot of nice, unique features on them. Generally, when you think of a Classic, you expect to see an all-white coach. Most of them have the overhead sleeper. This one has the custom paint job and the aero cap. Uh, so if you can do without the sleeper, it makes it uh, a much nicer cab area up there. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, well, one other feature I gotta point out to you. This unit's available and that is rare these days. It used to be if you wanted a big Super C, you placed your order and you waited anywhere from six months to a year. But this is an available unit, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Okay, this unit is powered by a Detroit Diesel 13, and a lot of the literature will say it's a 505 uh, engine. This is actually the 525 horsepower. Let me show that to you. And one thing about the Super C's, if you're the kind of guy that likes to uh, change your own oil, do the work yourself, you can see how easy it is to access this. All your oil, your transmission fluids, uh, you can get to your air cleaners, your water separators, all right here. It just makes it very nice for the, uh, the guy that likes to do, the, uh, do those things himself. Another thing I want to point out as we walk around, if you take a look at this hood, it's got two hood mounted mirrors, which are an option. This is great when you've got maybe a little sports car or a motorcycle pull up, or you really can't see down low on either side of the coach. So these mirrors really uh, extend how much you can see around the coach. All right, as we walk around, you'll notice this has got your Vorad uh, uh, on guard collision system, I guess it's called. There's a sensor up front, one in the in the windshield, you've got sensors on your side, so it gives you your blind spot uh, monitoring, your lane assist, uh, you also have uh, uh, active uh, cruise control, so you can set your braking distance, it'll give you warning as you're coming up on, uh, on different uh, traffic. You also have your, your four-way camera system, you have your rear view, side view on both sides, you also have a switch that you can uh, have a camera on the back of your stacker trailer. As we go down the side here, a couple of things I'm going to point out uh, very unique on this coach. In this first compartment, you can see that we now have three 270 watt lithium ion batteries. So that gives us a total of 810 amp hours and a 3000 watt inverter right here. This is coupled with three 175 watt solar panels on the roof. So if you are out off the grid for a while, uh, this is a great way to go. Move back here to, to this compartment and you see we've got our Aqua Hop 450. This provides your hot water, uh, your furnace, all the heat for the coach. There is a, an electric and a diesel burner in there. Right above that compartment, we do have our 43 inch Samsung 4G or 4K TV with a sound bar and this will actually pull out and articulate. If you're much smaller than me, you might have a hard time reaching that uh, cover. <laughs> and then back here we have another storage compartment. These are all lined rather than, than your felt. You do have a, uh, a spray liner in there. Makes it really nice if you want to hose them out to clean those out. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting anything wet in there. As we move down, uh, one other feature, you've got side blinkers on this coach. And you have marker lights above. There's five of them on each side. You can probably see that under the awning up there. And this is your Girard roof mount awning. That's 110 uh, awning up there. Coming back to this compartment, Again, you can see it's all spray line. That hose in there is so you can hook up your air compressor, air your tires, your uh, toys, or anything you have. And this right here actually is a cover for your step well when you go into the coach. So you have a flat floor there. Another thing I'll point out, and I've always loved the way Renegade makes our doors. They have dual latches and they close like butter. Smooth, they latch every time. 
these are a great compartment door. Moving back to this compartment, uh, this could be prepped for an outside refrigerator freezer. Uh, you can see our hitch here. This is a, the hitch is actually rated at 40,000 pounds, but because this is a single action, single axle uh, rear end, you only have 20,000 pounds of towing, but you have your uh, uh, two and five sixteenths and your two inch receivers, and all that hitch work is right here. And then back here we have one more storage compartment. You can see they give you a few extra floor tiles in there. Okay, moving around to the back, you can see how heavy duty this hitch is. These units are made for pulling race car trailers, stacker trailers, you know, uh, five horse, uh, you know, living quarters. You can pull up to 20,000 pounds with this. These are glad hands to hook up your air brakes. You do have a uh, input here for your Voyager camera if you are uh, towing with a, a stacker trailer and have a camera on the back. We also have our seven-way plug right here. Fully adjustable, uh, makes it very easy to pull a heavy load. And at only 38 feet, if you're going into the mountains, this is a great way to go. You've got the big power with the 525 uh, DD13 engine, which is about 1,900 foot-pounds of torque, but it's not a 40 or 45 footer, so uh, much better towing on something like this. Okay, let's move around to this side. And here we've got our surge protector. We've got our power uh, 50 amp cord on a, on a power rewind right there. They also give you your 50 to 30 adapter in there. Over here we have our 8K Onan generator. Now uh, in the past the Classics had the option that you could get a, a 10K generator or 12.5. On the 38 footers the 8K is the only one available. Now there's only two air conditioners, so this is really all you need. Again, a, another blinker on the side here. This compartment is our water compartment. So we've got our dump valves here, our black tank flush, our power fill. This is your hose for your outside shower. Uh, low point drains. You got a spigot there if you want to uh, you know, turn your water on and wash something off from right out here. And of course, you can gravity drain these the, the old fashioned way, but this also has a, a macerator, and that is right here. The nice thing about these macerators is you can actually pump your waste uphill. So if you're down in a depression and, and you need to pump it up to a, a dump station, you can do that with your macerator. And this is uh, just our black tank, and you know you can see your plumbing down there. You've got your dump valve. You could get a little bit of uh, you know cargo in here if you had some things that are small enough to fit in there, I suppose. Over here we have another storage compartment. Now, one thing about the 38-footer, you are giving up an outside compartment, so you don't have as much storage, but you know, most people that are going to get something like this, they want it shorter, they want it more maneuverable. You realize you don't have as much uh, storage inside and out. This compartment here, we've got our chassis batteries. Right here is where we tie into our compressor if you want to fill your tires or anything, and then you still have more storage down there. And of course, these all have lights. Okay, again, great looking paint job. Uh, and with that aero cap in there, we're going to step inside in a minute. I'll show you how much easier that is to get in and out of the cab. All right, let's take a look at the floor plan. So there is a heavy-duty grab handle as you're going in with a keyless entry. 
And I left the slides in on this coach intentionally so you can see how much room uh, we have as you go in with a closed. And like I pointed out, there is a cover right here for this uh, step well. So when, when you are traveling, you can put that in. Uh, make sure your dog or your kid's not falling down there. Uh, and as long as we're right here, first of all, look how much room you've got when you're traveling. Uh, plenty of room to walk through if you've got bigger dogs that you travel with. They're not going to be stumbling around. And uh, one other thing, come on back in here. Before I open the slides, I wanted to point out that this is a single bathroom. So many units are bath and a half. So it's a little bit of the old school where it's what we call a walk-through bathroom. Sink and shower on one side, your toilet on this side. And... Uh, you know, we'll be back here again. I'll, I'll go over it a little bit more. But I just wanted to show you the amount of room on a 38-foot single bathroom coach. Great for two people. Okay. Don't mean to be jumping around too much, but, but let's move back up here. And I want to talk a little bit about our Firefly system. So all of our uh, tank monitors and so forth are right here. You can see that's... Uh, a black tank, gray tank, fresh water, turn our lights on and off. But I can also do most of those functions right here. Now, I already paired this. If you were to pair it, you'd go to your mobile app. It'll tell you which unit we're in and what the code is, which I've already done. So you can see our lights. I can go to climate, set the heat right here, turn on our aqua hot. Uh, right now, I'm going to go to our slide outs, and this is for slides and awnings, and I'm going to go ahead and run out, uh, run out this uh, front slide right now. Now, one of the conveniences of this, I might have a neighbor that's very close right here. There might be a tree or a rock or something, and if I'm by myself, I don't know how much room I've got without going out there to look at it. So as you can see, I could be walking around the outside opening my slides, opening my awnings, everything from right here on my phone, which makes it very convenient when you're alone. By the way, a couple of the features about this, this has got the, the padded walls with the Wayne's coat, uh, really a nice interior. Uh, this is the uh, Riverstone decor with the honey maple cabinets. Uh, let me show you the kitchen as long as we're right here. You've got a large, single, stainless steel undermount sink. I think they call that the farm sink. And then this is the all-electric coach with those three lithium ions and your solar. You do get a true induction cook surface here, two burner cook surface. And it's an option to have it recessed, which they have with this one. So when you have your covers on here, you can see it's flush, uh, gives you a lot of extra counter space. Convection microwave, of course, you, you rarely see the, uh, the ovens anymore. And then again, these are the honey maple cabinets, and Renegade does a great job with their cabinet works. There's no uh, wrap styles back here, it's all solid wood. Down below here, we've got some good storage, room for your uh, trash can there. We have some full pull-out drawers. Uh, you can see in this one they do give you a little bit of your uh, touch-up paint if you need it. Some lube for your slides. There's your water filter. Uh, this drawer, you do have a, a silverware tray. This actually slides, and you have two of them right there. And then over here, we've got a couple of other pull-out storage areas. These are all soft clothes. As we move down, we've got our uh, 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator right there. There's your Blu-ray uh, 
player, uh, video hookups. You got room for video components up there. Let me open the refrigerator for you. Nice storage throughout. Then over here we have more pantry. Now this is just a monitor uh, for your systems, your battery. It's telling you how much power you've got. You've got four nice pull-out drawers here. And the, the ones on the bottom are actually quite large. And again, all soft close drawers. This bottom one here, these are your, uh, your uh, 110 breakers. Okay, as long as we're right here at the cab, let's talk about it a little bit. Like I say, it's got the aero cab, and you can see how easy it is getting in and out of this seat rather than those with the overhead sleeper. I really prefer this setup. This is one of the nicest cabs. Uh, they did put some nice seats in these. They are uh, heated, and it's an air ride seat. You can see up here at the cab, we've got our trailer brake. Now, this comes with your Kurt brake controller already installed. You can see there's a switch there for your camera, whether you want to look on your, uh, your uh, trailer or your vehicle. If I turn this on, you can see we've got our backup monitor right here, and it's telling me that we're on the truck camera. I like this view because you get the back one and the left and right, right there. Fire this up. We do have our Garmin navigation. Yeah. I don't know why that is not booting up for me. I apologize. Uh, if you do have a dual axle, there we go, we can lock that in. Here we are. So you can see you can scroll through. Uh, you've got your navigation. Uh, you've got to you've got to have your app in there. I can pair my phone to the Bluetooth here uh, Let's get back in here and uh, They've got apps for the weather driving apps and so forth uh, You know tell me what campgrounds it is you can program your information on uh, what you're driving So if there's a bridge that's too low, it's gonna let you know all of that right here and then, of course, you do have the Garmin navigation here. So you can just tell them where you want to go, and it's going to bring that right up for you. And like I say, an extremely comfortable cockpit, uh, air ride seats, very plush leather, plenty of room overhead. I really do like this, uh, this cockpit here. Little storage up here above. On both sides and area up here looks like you could put your CB up there if you're still an old-fashioned kind of trucker guy uh, let's move back over here as we uh, come back to the dinette one thing that you'll notice and I pointed this out before most of the ones that convert to a sleeper have this angled bar right there you flip a switch and it goes down very easily. It rests on cleats below these, and there's a cushion in the back to fill in this midsection. Uh, also underneath here, they do provide a couple of area rugs for you. Uh, you know, matching carpet for right here in the kitchen. Each side of this has a pull-out storage drawer. Another one over here. Now this does have the 72 inch uh, sleeper in the couch. And I'll go ahead and open that up for you. It's actually one of the nicer sleepers. Very easy to pull out, put your legs down. Flip this down and you're ready to go. And this is a nice, dense memory foam. So it, I actually prefer these over the air mattresses.
course, you might not want to let everybody know you've got room to take two or three extra people because then they'll all want to go with you. Go ahead and tuck this away. And there we go. While we're here, I'll show you the storage. These compartments uh, on each side are open all the way through. Great looking hardware with hidden hinges. And again, this is the honey maple cabinets. I really do like this color. Another thing I'll point out right here, we do have manual day shades, but our night shades are all the MCD power. So you get a uh, little controller right here. I've got it on all, so if I want to drop my night shades, I can do it all right here. Or you can go through and, and do them each individually if you like. Also, uh, over here across from the couch, we've got another 43-inch Samsung TV with a sound bar. This pulls out and pivots a little bit. Extra coat rack right here as you come in the door where you'd want it. Uh, another thing, they did a really nice touch on the ceiling. There are some... Uh, Decorative covers over your air conditioners, and these have two 15K uh, Coleman air conditioners with heat pumps in it. Okay, let's move to the back. Uh, one of the things, I'm going to open these with my Firefly controller, and uh, back here, I can open them at the same time. On your phone app, you can only open one at a time. Now, it's big enough for somebody like me to sleep in there without it being opened. If you're much over six foot, you're probably going to need a little bit more room. And there we go. While we're back here in the bathroom again, I'm going to show you a couple more things. We do have the stackable washer and dryer here. Now, one thing about having a shorter uh, coach, I, I, I told you there's only one bathroom, and again, we've looked in here once, there's plenty of room, some nice storage. Again, you have the manuals, and in the bathroom, they actually put a manual shade in there, so you don't have to get up from the toilet and go get the uh, remote because you forgot it. And then over here in the shower, uh, first of all, nice option here. This is a solid surface surround with this uh, nice decorative uh, panel in here. It's got the teak seat. And for somebody like me, it's not, you know, a problem with the room. There's certainly plenty of height, but you notice it is a little bit smaller when you get this quarter round shower. If you drop the soap and bend over, you're, you're probably hitting the wall one place or another. So this is more of a one person here. Show you a little storage underneath. You got a little tray there. Some nice full pull out drawers. And again, everything is soft clothes. And uh, plenty of room in your medicine cabinet there. Again, this is the Riverstone decor. Uh, nice looking backsplashes. They opted for the solid surface sink here rather than your undermount sink. Single pull uh, faucets there. As we move back into the bedroom. Let's see. We do have, uh, there we go, nice solid door for privacy. 
Now, this is a, a king bed, and under the bed, you've got your two 75-gallon water tanks, so 150 gallons of fresh water. Another great feature about the Renegades, especially if you're going to be uh, off the beaten trail a little bit. You can see your water pump is here, very easy to access, very easy to winterize by yourself. Big, I think those are inch and a half or two inch uh, main drains. So when you've got to drain 150 gallons of water, if you ever need to, it does it rather quickly. And all your bypasses and everything are right here. That's another nice thing about all the water lines in this coach are above the floor line, basically. So you don't have to worry about freeze ups. And there are tank heaters on the holding tanks outside. While we're here, I'll point out each side of the bed. You've got 110 outlets, some USB ports, little cubby there. You've got your uh, various switches here, uh, reading lights. There you go. I'm not getting that one to say on. There we go. And you can also... Uh, turn all your lights off right here, shut off your fantastic fans, generator, all these switches right here in the bedroom. And again, these are your, your day shades. And these are the buttons for your powered MCD nightshades here. Take a look at the overhead. So we've got a very deep uh, storage area up here above the bed. It does have the ceiling fan up above the bed. And one thing that I'll point out, I'm about 5'8". I can barely touch this, but you have nearly seven foot ceilings in here. Plenty of height. Okay, across from the bed, we've got a great wardrobe area. And if you're to look, this passes all the way through behind the TV. Now, this pad here is what you would use on the dinette when you convert it into a sleeper. All cedar lined. Renegade only makes the Super C's. They don't make trailers, they don't make class A's. They concentrate on this product and have been doing it for a long time and I think they're one of the better manufacturers out there. Down below here we've got another Blu-ray player and hookups for video components. We do have a built-in safe And again, three deep drawers there. Okay. Once again, this is a 2023 uh, Renegade Classic. And like I pointed out, generally you, you look at the Classic as kind of a boxy white thing. But this is a great looking coach with the custom paint job, the arrow cap. Let me get my contact information for you. Anybody that's interested in getting a Super C, this one is available. Once again, my name's Mark Love. This is my cell phone, 970-631-0083. Feel free to call me or text me. Uh, you can email me here, hemlove at transwest.com. If you have any questions on this one, or uh, anything else that we have on the lot, please contact us. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in and like always, happy trails my friends, drive careful out there. We'll see you next time.